In this video, we're going to talk about the Google Software Engineer interview. My name is Kevin Wei, and I'm here to help you land your dream job in tech. From search to YouTube to ads to Android, some of the most used technology in the world is driven by software engineers at Google. Today, we'll explore the interview process as well as some strategies you can employ in your interview. Google's interview loop often takes more than eight weeks to complete. New grads and prospective interns will start by facing a small 90-minute coding test, often focused on data structures and algorithms. You'll be challenged to complete two questions, and you must pass both in order to advance. Next, you'll have at least one video interview with a Google software engineer or hiring manager. You'll be asked to complete a coding question on a shared Google Doc, where you won't have access to autocomplete or syntax cues. So be sure to practice writing code in Google Docs on your own time. You'll also be asked behavioral questions like, why do you want to work at Google? Or tell me about a recent project you worked on. Be sure to have one or two projects you're proud of that you can talk through. Once you pass the video interview, you'll advance to the on-site. Here, you can expect to complete four to six interviews with each interview lasting 45 minutes. You'll face both coding and system design questions with difficulty being based on your level. If you're interviewing in person, you'll most likely spend the majority of your time whiteboarding. So get used to drawing diagrams and talking through them live. In-person interviews will also give you the chance to eat lunch with a Googler, where you can get a feel of Google's culture and ask any questions. After you're on site, your interview feedback will be sent to a hiring committee to make a final decision. This is a separate panel of calibrated engineers and managers that doesn't include the individuals who interviewed you. Once you pass a hiring committee, you'll go through a team matching process to find the right team with an open headcount. You'll have one-on-one -on -one calls with different hiring managers, and hopefully you'll find one or more team that is mutually interested in you. Some folks have reported that the team matching process can take several weeks or even months to complete. Before we talk about the kinds of questions you'll face, if you're enjoying these tech interview prep videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new videos every single week. We put a lot of effort into making these videos, and doing these things really helps the algorithm find our content. As you might have picked up, you'll face three broad types of questions, behavioral, coding, and system design. For behavioral questions, Google wants to know if your values align with those of the company. They want to see if you have Googliness which generally means, do you work well on a team? Do you think deeply through problems despite ambiguity? And are you a pleasant person to work with? Common questions include, why do you want to work at Google? And tell me about trade-offs you made in your proudest project. More senior engineers, such as those at L6 levels and above, may be asked even tougher leadership and team building questions. So prepare accordingly. Coding questions allow you to showcase your problem-solving skills. The majority of these entail data structures and algorithm questions. So be prepared to solve problems related to arrays, strings, trees, graphs, recursion, and dynamic programming. At Google, common coding interview questions include twosum, where you're given an array of integers and a target number, and you have to return the indices of two numbers that add up to the target. Longest substring without repeating characters, where given a string, you need to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters and median of two assorted arrays, where given two sorted arrays, you need to return the median of the two sorted arrays. And finally, you have your system design questions. These are more open-ended technical questions designed to test your thought process, as well as your knowledge of technical concepts. If you can strike the right balance between structured thinking and creativity, your chances of acing these questions is good. Common system design questions at Google include, design a video distribution system, design a search client, or design some popular Google product like YouTube. Sometimes Google will adapt questions to your experience. If you worked on payments, they might ask you one around payments. The best way to prepare for these interviews is to watch our system design videos and to try your hand at some questions in our interview database. The Google interview is not easy. You'll be asked many tough technical questions. So one piece of advice is to tackle problems in a systematic manner. First, ask clarifying questions and check your assumptions before proceeding. Then, brainstorm a few approaches and talk through trade-offs between naive and optimized solutions before diving into one. You'll spend some time implementing your solution. And finally, test your solution and consider edge cases and exceptions. For more interview prep videos, Exponent has the best resources to help you ace your interview, including in-depth interview courses, 
private coaching, and a community of experts ready to help you prep for even the toughest questions. Hit that subscribe button for videos every single week and go to tryexponent.com to become a member today. Thanks for watching.